Canada and France haven't met since 1966. France winners back then, and they were favourites today. Joe Wilfred Songa made light work of the first set against Vasek Pospisil, dropping just one game. The world number six took advantage of numerous unforced errors to easily defeat the young Canadian. A routine victory for Songa. Rising star Milos Raonic next for Canada against Julian Beneteau. With a boisterous crowd behind him, Raonic came out fighting and Beneteau had no answers. The 21-year-old with a wealth of ammunition, not least his serve. He unleashed 24 aces during the match. So an ace seemed a fitting way to finish. Raonic beating Beneteau in two hours, 17 minutes. And Raonic would feature in the doubles, teaming up with Daniel Nestor. Guy Forget sent out Mikhail Lodra and Beneteau. This was an exhilarating match. The French took the first two sets, both of which went to tie-breaks. And then they capped off a well-deserved straight sets win. Game, set match, France. Canada's number three, Frank Danchevich, was pressed into action on day three after an injury to Raonic. He was up against Songa, who started quickly and appeared to be en route to an easy victory before Dancevich found his form. The world number six continued to apply pressure, though, and eventually closed out his Canadian opponent in convincing fashion. France's reward, a home tie against the USA in the World Group quarter-finals. <laughs> 